Hello, I'm Rosie from Rosie the Reader. Tonight I'm here with another book tag. It's the Home Sweet Home Tag created by Chic Nerd Reads, and I was actually tagged by Lit Pixie. Just, anyway, so these are all parts of your home that are the different prompts for the tag. The first prompt is Welcome Mat, which is what book did you choose for the cover, not the synopsis. And for me that would be the selection. Um, I know a lot of people don't like people on the cover. Um, that's kind of a booktube pet peeve, but I like it if it's a pretty dress type photo. I can find it enough to make me pick it up. And I thought it was historical, perhaps, or something like that, or having to do with royalty. It is having to do with royalty, but it's not historical. So that was, you know, close enough. And then I read the synopsis and got it and liked it a lot. Sofa, what book gives you comfort? I kind of took this to mean what's a book that you would read or reread or whatever when you're going through a hard time and it makes you happy and all of that good stuff. And for me, that's probably Fruits Basket or Twilight. Um, those are just kind of feel good, happy reads for me. So that's that. TV. Choose a book that you read before it turned into a movie or TV show. Now, my mom always likes to say I grew up with Harry Potter because I actually received this book as a gift for my 11th birthday. I know I'm dating myself so much because it had just come out in the U.S. And so I read this a long time before it was a movie, but um, I still love it a lot. There's a lot of books I've read before they became movies, but this is the first one that I can really remember the hype, so that's why I chose it. And I can remember it before it was hyped, so I kind of went through that whole spectrum with it. And it's the oldest book that I can remember that with, so that's why. Um, frame. Choose a book that you have placed on the wall because you want to show it off. For me, that's my signed copy of Twilight. I don't read this copy. I don't let anyone touch it. But it's signed, and that makes me super happy. I think I've shown it off on my channel here before. Um, Oven. Choose a hot character. For me, that would probably be Alexander from the Bronze Horseman just his bravery and all that and then he's also this really strong soldier so that that kind of works for me as a hot guy and refrigerator what book gives you the chills for me the unbecoming of mara dyer there were so many times reading this where i was creeped out cuddling my dog for comfort just oh my goodness this book screws your mind so much and i love it for it and i can't read to read the rest um, dining room table, choose a book that you've read over dinner with no shame. I've never really done that, so I'm sorry. Um, I don't really have an answer. <laughs> Probably would have been, I, I don't really know. Um, bathroom tub, name a, a steamy scene in a book that you'll always remember. The Bronze Horseman, and she said that, you know, the original creator said it didn't necessarily have to be a sex scene, which is good because I skipped those. In books that happen but for me just the scene when they reconnect at the when he rescues her from the train station and the brown person I don't want to give any more away and then another scene with all the feels is when he's in the hospital at the end but I really don't want to give anything away at the end of this book um bed choose a book that you had to put down because it made you sleepy not exactly sleepy but it was definitely a book I had to put down because I just couldn't even process the words and I felt like the writing was really hard to get into, and so if I had been reading it at night, it probably would have just been, I'm just going to roll over and go to sleep. And that would be The Book Thief, which I don't know when I got it from the library and then didn't finish it. So The next to last prompt is Desktop. Choose a book that has 21st century digitized elements. And I chose My Life Undecided by Jessica Brody. It's a contemporary YA where the main character is having a lot of problems in her life, and she decides that the best solution is on her i believe it's a blog she has a blog and she just decides everything is going to be public vote majority rules everything she does do i go on the date do i do my homework everything that she can't make her mind about, make up her mind about she's just going to ask perfect strangers for help and i thought that was interesting and kind of a different spin on incorporating the internet into a novel and then bookshelf is which booktubers do you tag and i'd like to tag the book witch and tasha from tasha polis um, thanks and happy reading.